Ignition. Lift off. Over the past few decades, accomplishments in spaceflight have proven to be some of man's most triumphant achievements. The initial upward acceleration can be determined by using Newton's second law of motion. For a given orbital radius, there is only one particular velocity which will maintain the spacecraft's circular motion. Kepler's first law states, all planets move in elliptical orbits with the sun at one focus and the other focus empty. By having eliminated gravity-driven effects, fluid properties such as surface tension, cohesion, and adhesion can be studied in great detail. As the trajectory is bent so as to have a component in the same direction as the planet is moving, part of the planet's orbital velocity becomes imparted to the spacecraft. After the interaction, a net gain in velocity has occurred as the spacecraft's final velocity is equal to the vector sum of the spacecraft's velocity with respect to the planet plus the planet's orbital velocity. As the vehicle travels closer to the Earth's surface and into a denser atmosphere, its kinetic and gravitational potential energy will be increasingly transformed into thermal energy 